Hey, how are you? Jam motherfucking day. everybody doing today I hope you're doing well please follow me on Twitter at Jen to the Den I'm also gonna list all my other social media down below so you're welcome to follow me on those platforms I also have a vlog channel that I'm going to I have a vlog channel I'm gonna list that below maybe I'll do a vlog maybe I won't anyway guys today I'm gonna tell you a funny story that just happened yesterday and it involves amazon.com and no this is not a sponsored video obviously when you hear this you'll know that so my sister recently started working at Amazon and she is working in one of the local facilities and she is what you call a picker I don't know probably has a better term than that but basically her job is to literally run her ass off for 10 hours picking items off of shelves that orders come in for on the internet so let's say I get on the internet I order something my sister is the person in this facility that is going to run and go pick it off the shelf bring it to someone who boxes it up and ships it off to you. Her first night, she got put on midnight shift, which she's not really happy about, but she's hoping to change that one day. But anyway, I digress, as you know, I always do. The morning after her first shift, she put a Facebook status up and she said that, you know, it went great, that she could tell she's gonna get a lot of exercise and a lot of walking done because she was running her butt off the whole night, but that she didn't know what she needed to get in order to carry these items because she said she was literally like stuck stuff in her shirt and like trying to carry everything and she was like having a hard time so she said I really need to find something like a fanny pack but maybe it needs to be bigger than that and my aunt was like well maybe they make aprons that you can put stuff down in that's easier to carry all that stuff so me being the concerned big sister that I am I got on the internet and I started looking for I was thinking let's find like an apron that has big pockets in it so that you can carry your stuff. So I typed in apron. I can't remember exactly what I typed in. I think it was apron with big pockets and just I did that in Google and it took me to Amazon.com. What a coinky dink, am I right? So it takes me to Amazon.com and I found this listing. Picker's pouch apron with a bottom dump flap. And here was the first picture that came up. I was looking at this and I was like, damn, that looks like it might be the answer. So I see that there are, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six dots, which means that if you scroll, you will see more pictures of this apron. So I said, okay, well, let me scroll through. So $39.95, only one left in stock. I was like, oh, let me scroll quick because if she thinks she would like this, then I'm going to order it. Scroll to the second picture. Okay, well, it holds a lot of stuff. I don't know if she wants something that big, but it, it does hold a lot of stuff. So let me scroll to the next picture. Okay, that's good. It's It, it straps on your back in a way that is not going to pull on your shoulders too much. Looks like they thought that out. Good idea. Wouldn't have thought about that. Good idea. Scroll to the next picture. That's just fruit and a buckle. Okay, scroll to the next picture. What the fuck is this? What is... <sighs> So I just sat there looking at it for a few, seemed like a minute at least. Not understanding. I don't get it. That's weird. There's one more picture left. Let me scroll. Jesus fucking Christ. What? What? So I get on Twitter and I said, what the fuck, Amazon? And I posted the pictures. I was just asking. A few minutes later, here comes Amazon help. Verified account. This is their answer. Shrugs. I reckon it's all explained in the product name. Oh. What? I have like no answer for that. So at this point, I'm hysterically laughing. Like that's something about me that if you were my friend in real life or my family member, you would know that that is, even when I was a nurse, oh my God. I almost got in trouble several times as a nurse, and I didn't mean to, but like, oh God, that just reminded me of a story I gotta tell you guys. I gotta write that down. A lot of times the way that I 
react to things is just to hysterically laugh and so that's what I started doing when when they answered me and I just said oh my god laugh my ass off what the fuck Amazon several pop it <laughs> joined in and they were like what the fuck Amazon like what is so funny that that's your answer shrug Ha ha, like that's your answer? I wasn't mad though, I was just like, I mean obviously this is like some sort of, I don't think I hacked or what, this, this is weird. But these, the poppets man, you don't mess with, like I really don't honestly have to worry about shit online because the poppets just like bust up in the middle of everything. <laughs> they were pretty pissed. And I guess whoever this was at Amazon that was answering, they finally responded again. During the time that that was going on with the few poppets that were like handing Amazon his ass, I went and looked at the product description because he said it's all explained in the product name. So I'm like, I don't see th that it's explained, but let me go look. And I found this. This is the description on Amazon of this apron. Made of very heavy duty nylon material, similar to Eastern European military tent fabric. So I was like, okay, well my sister, that's too heavy. Side note, <laughs> I digress. These big bags look like those worn by forced labor peasants enslaved on Soviet Ukrainian collective farms in the 1960s. These horrible work camps where the overlords would set the hounds upon you or even shoot you in the head if you didn't pick your quota. And those hounds weren't just regular dogs, they were half starved, brutalized giant mastiffs trained to tear humans apart and eat them alive. Yeah, they look like those bags. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a comment. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed a comment. One, <laughs> one poppet said the actual fuck, and another poppet says named Catherine. She says dump flap was my. <laughs> was my nickname in high school. <laughs> well, guess what? Mine was Piss Flaps. So it, was, it wasn't. It was My nickname was never Piss Flaps. <laughs> okay. 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 So I'm like, what? what's happening here? What is happening? So I guess Mr. Amazon was wondering like, what's the uproar going on here? Like, why do I keep getting tweeted about this apron? So he comes back and he goes, totally and unequivocally, my bad. I only saw the first image. I've reported this item. Thanks so much for highlighting. I said, LMAO, I just can't. Did you read the full description? It's so weird, LMAO. Mr. Amazon says, I did and it is so weird. Well, we don't mind weird, that's fine, but this is dot, 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 weird. <laughs> get it mistakes happen maybe y'all just got hacked it's no big deal thanks my sister just started at amazon last night as a picker and mr amazon comes back and he says mistakes happen indeed but often to me smiley face best of luck to your sister and i hope she loves it so you know it ended on a good note but what the fuck amazon <laughs> And you know what? I checked it last night and it has not been edited, so it's still up. I'll put the link in the description. Hopefully it will be changed by the time you go click on it, because this video probably won't go up for a week or two. But good lord. So anyway guys, that's my Amazon.com story and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have, thank you so much. Please make sure you're still subscribed because Amazon not Amazon. YouTube keeps unsubscribing people. So please do that. Also click the little bell icon because it's supposed to alert you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays so I hope you will come back and join me next time. And I love you. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye! I've been through it the past two years. Longer than that actually but the past two years was really just a culmination of severe depression and anxiety.